for coming back. Today's video is going to be another wig review, but today is going to be a chit chat wig review. So I asked a question on my Instagram the other day. I think I already asked the same question here on YouTube about where should I move to? I gave you all two options, which was back to Ohio or stay here in Atlanta and just move to a high rise or something like that. So I will be answering that question today. I will be telling you what my most voted for place or city was. At the same time, I'm gonna be installing this beautiful wig that I got from Herrilla. I can't say the name right, but this is how you say it. This is how it's spelled. So if you know how to say it, go ahead and comment below. Maybe you can tell me how to pronounce this. So spell it how I should pronounce it. Anyway, I'm gonna be reviewing this beautiful way today and I'm gonna be giving you the tea on where I'm moving to next. And I'm also going to be sharing a discount code for you all if you love the wig and you would like to purchase. So please stick around for this Get Ready With Me Chit Chat Hair Review video. So this is a really fun wig that I've really, really been trying to try out, I guess. So when they reached out to me and said they wanted to work with me, this is the one I chose and you guys will see why. I usually don't do colors at all. I usually just do black, like black, 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 black. But I'm in a different time of my life and there's a lot going on, so I'm trying new things and I want to try a colored hair. And this color is fiery. As you can see, there's nothing in the back. Um, I'm in the process of moving. The movers are here today. Actually, they're moving some stuff out. So the entire sunroom is empty except for this chair. And also the entire, like most of the house is empty. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. As I said, we're gonna be talking about my mood. Look at this. Look at that color. I've never ever done anything like this before. This is a full lace frontal wig and it has a little closure in the back. So before we get started, let me just tell you everything about the hair and then I'll start to apply it and then we'll talk about where I'm moving to. This is what the hair looks like. It looks like it's already been bleached so I don't have to bleach the knob. I don't know what this is gonna look like um, on my skin tone, but I just wanted to try something like this out. So it's already been plugged. The frontal itself has already been plugged, so you don't have to do the plugging. They already have a little bit of baby hair already made for you, so you don't have to do that either. And also, it has the lace in front, as you can see. And then it has some lace in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that. And then also, it has an elastic band. I love this elastic band because some people don't really like it and some people do. So if you don't like it, you don't have to cut it off. All you have to do is take it out of the Velcro. See that? There is a Velcro and then there's a hook. So you can actually just take it out. So they made this very, very, I like that they did this. This is actually my first time seeing this. So see that? You can take it out and this is what the clip itself looks like. And you can clip it back in and you can also adjust it. I like that a lot. You can adjust it, pull it to make it tighter. See that? Or you can leave it as loose as you need to. The hair itself is really full. It's so fiery, y'all. So fiery. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I love that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the lace on this and go ahead and apply it. I will be putting a little bit of my foundation on because the lace is a little lighter than my skin tone. Okay, friends, so I have my scissors and I have my hair. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the lace. All right, so what I wanted to talk to you all about is my Instagram poll that I posted, I think about a week or two ago. I was asking you all, where should I move to? Because as you all know, I am in the process of moving and um, I can either stay in Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, I can go to Ohio, I can pick a new state. I do have a few friends in Houston and they have been, they're influencers as well. And they have been encouraging me to move down there and that is like the new place where a lot of people are moving as well besides Atlanta. Let me tell you, Atlanta is full, full, full. Like I've seen a lot of TikTok videos of people saying that. Um, a lot of people are wanting to move here because it's considered the um, Black Hollywood. You see a lot of very, very wealthy Black people here. A lot of well-to-do people, people with money, living in mansions, and just doing their thing, right? So a lot of people are moving here because of that. Not only that, 
People of all races are moving here because it is a beautiful city, a beautiful state, and there is so much to do out here versus where I come from, Ohio, where when I was there, I'm not saying right now, I've been gone for about two years, almost, wow, it's been long. Um, when I was there, the most we did was go to like weddings and baby showers and you know, basement parties and stuff like that. There is not a lot to do. Now, mind you, they're building a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff has changed over the year, but um, there was not a lot to do when I was there. I'll be honest. There's just, it's just not, compared to a city like Atlanta or Houston, New York, or places like that, Miami, there's no comparison. Ohio's a cornfield compared to those other places I just named. However, Ohio is good for other things too, right? Like if you wanna be family oriented, if you wanna raise your kids, if you wanna to go to college, if you wanna start a small business, if you wanna you know, meet a decent guy or girl, Ohio is the kind of place for that, right? But if you're done with that kind of lifestyle and you want something more, something more exciting, like a bigger city, more opportunities, maybe you wanna act, maybe you wanna be a rapper, maybe you wanna be a singer, or maybe you just wanna be inspired by a lot of wealthy people. This is the city to be, right? Atlanta is beautiful. There is so, every single corner, there's something to do. There, there are bars, there are restaurants, there are um, art places, music places, malls just so much to do and driving around in the city you see a lot of things y'all and i know i look different because now i have my shower cap slash barnet on i had to go grab my scissors because i left it upstairs and um like i said i have the movers here they're moving stuff and i didn't want to look like a crazy person so i just went ahead and grabbed my bonnet and put it on but i'm gonna go ahead and actually take that off and the next thing I'm gonna be doing, well, first of all, let me show you the hair. I already cut the lace, right? The lace is gone, but as you can see, the lace is lighter than my skin. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some hair on it, or just the foundation. I'm gonna put some foundation. So I cut it in the back as well. All right, so I got my foundation. This is Fenty Beauty. I have a brush. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of foundation on my brush right there. Then I'm gonna grab my wig, flip it over, and just apply the foundation where I need to. So as I was saying, Atlanta is more of a party. Not, I don't wanna say party. There's a lot of opportunities here. I'm telling you, if you wanna be inspired, if you wanna see people live a good life, like if you wanna see rich people, like huge houses, beautiful cars, expensive cars, like you can just drive down the road, depending on where you live, of course. I live in the city, so. I usually just can drive literally down the street and see luxury cars upon luxury cars and limos and beautiful men and women. Like everybody here cares about their looks. Everybody cares how they look, their body, their face. Um, versus again, where I come from where the only time you see somebody really dressed up is for a party or for like a date or something like that. But here, it is an everyday thing. All the girls have their nails done, their hair is done. Everybody just looks nice and decent, right? Um, and they will spend money on that stuff. Like, ugh, no wonder why people go broke out here. Like, people spend a lot of money on their looks and what they look like and how they feel. And, you know, that's one part of it, especially for the young generation. I'm not talking about everybody. You know, you have older people here just living their lives and enjoying the weather because that's another thing between um, Atlanta versus Ohio. The weather here is much, much different. Ohio is very, very cold. It is cold in Ohio. It already started snowing in Ohio. And this is gonna be my second winter here. And last year, I think it snowed like once one day, it snowed outside, and but it was just flakes, tiny little snowflakes, versus Ohio, where you could get a, a snowstorm and be stuck in the house for like hours or even days, right? So that's one thing with the weather. And then it gets really hot out here, which I'm okay with. I have that African blood in me, so I don't really care about it being hot. I do care when it's cold. That's when I get bothered. But when it's super hot, I don't really care because one thing, I don't go out a lot, so I'm usually 
in the house and then in the evening time is when i usually like to go out when it's like nice and pretty it's not hot the sun is not out it's not super humid it's just beautiful that's when i like to go out and for the few i guess two years that i've been here i've really enjoyed that i've enjoyed just getting up today and say okay i'm gonna go out and i know that i can go out to a beautiful restaurant or a beautiful brunch area or just anywhere in the city because there are so many things to do. So many things to do. Versus when I was in Ohio, when I was in Columbus, Ohio, the biggest place that you can go is probably Easton. Versus here, where you have so many places, so many, like countless places. You can have five, six, seven restaurants within a mile of each other. That's just how it works here. So. Anyway, there are different things for different reasons. And with Texas, a lot of my influencer friends have started to move there and a lot of them have been telling me, hey Mercy, if you're gonna move, move out here. And I'm so tempted, so I'm gonna go and actually visit to see if I like it. And if I do, I might end up moving there. So I know people in New York, I've never ever, I've never been to New York. I, well, I've been through New York a few times, but I've never stopped in New York, right? I've been through the airport when I went to Canada. I went through New York. Um, when I was going to Africa one time, I went through New York, but I've never really stopped in New York. So I guess I've never visited. Let me put it that way. I've never visited New York, but I have a lot of friends in New York as well who want me to go there and visit. I've made a lot of friends here now in Atlanta. I love, love Atlanta. I've made the first year and a half I was here, I didn't really go anywhere. I didn't really like it at all. I'll be honest. I didn't like it. I didn't get to experience it or explore the city like I wanted to, but now I love it and I've made a lot of friends and I'm starting to love, love the city lifestyle. So definitely something city. And then with Ohio, you, you all were right. That is where my, um, my friends, my family are, that's where my business, one of my businesses, you know, my real estate business. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and try it on. So I did go ahead and adjust the elastic band, see that? So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on to see how it fits. I always like to grab the band and put it on first and then I'm gonna um, adjust it, all right? So here we go, put that on, pull it, hook it, flip it over, and pull it to the front. All right, I have a mirror here, so I'm gonna be looking in it. All right, so this is what it looks like. The color I'm gonna have to get used to for now, but I'm gonna go ahead and lay it. Again, I have my got to be glued. That's what I'm gonna use to lay this hair. I'm gonna lay it down, let it sit for a little bit, and then I'll come back and do the baby hairs. So getting back to the topic, a lot of you, when I posted the, the poll, and I was asking, where should I go? I should have given a lot more choices because I do have my heart or my, my eye on other cities. Like I said, New York, Houston, Dallas, um, LA, Miami, Ohio, and Atlanta. So I should have given those choices, but I only said Ohio versus Atlanta. So I would say about 60% of the people said Ohio because that's where my family is, that's where my business is, that's where I grew up, that's what's comfortable for me, that's where my support is. And then 40% of the people said Atlanta because there's more opportunity, it's a bigger city, and for the kind of person that I am, I kind of outgrew Ohio. I blew up in Ohio. I grew up and blew up in Ohio. And then I all of a sudden got up and moved. And moving here was very, very hard for me, not financially because I was already financially stable, um, but mentally it was very hard just to uproot and leave. And you know, there was a lot of struggles too that happened. So it was kind of hard at first, but like I said, now I love it here. And because I only gave the, the two choices, so again, 60% of the people said Ohio and 40% of the people said Atlanta. However, as I said, I have my eyes on other cities. I was asking what would be the reason for me to stay in Atlanta versus what would be the reason for me to go back to Ohio? So again, for the majority of people, um, a lot of them were saying to move to Ohio or move back to Ohio because that's where my support is. And some people said move back because of your child's father, that's where Titi's dad is. That way, 
co-parenting is going to be easier. A lot of people also said move back because the cost of living is cheaper. Um, and then some people just said move back because I would like to meet you someday, which <laughs> that was really cute. Um, and for Atlanta, a lot of people said stay in Atlanta because you have outgrown Ohio. You are doing big things now and you need to be in the city. A lot of people said there's more opportunities out here, especially because of what I do. Ooh, I forgot this thing runs really fast. Ooh, I forgot. All right. So a lot of you were saying that going back to Ohio would feel like moving backwards when I'm supposed to be moving forward, right? Which I can understand. I full wholeheartedly understand that. I'm just going to tie it down. My wig installing process y'all is very 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 simple i don't do the most i don't do the craziness because like i said i always take my wigs out at night so i have this hair tie here so anyway i'm gonna use this and i'm gonna tie it down right so a lot of people were saying you don't want to move backwards because a lot of young ladies look up to you a lot of young men also look up to you and their dream would be to to one day you know, leave their hometown, go to a big city and try to make it there. Um, but coming back, it's like, it doesn't really make sense. You know, at least in some people's eyes, it doesn't make sense. So I see both sides of things and I completely understand it. And I agree too. Going back to Ohio makes for an easy life for me because right now I don't consider myself a single mom for a lot of reasons. And, um, Nadia's father and I are very good friends. We get along very well. And there is a lot of rumors about what's going on, but that's a story for another day. Um, it'll be easier to just go back there and restart my life or just do other things. But I also understand too where it feels like moving backwards. Ohio will always be home. Whether I decide now to go back or go back in five years, go to another city, Ohio will always be considered my hometown because that's where I've lived for the most part of my life. I know that city like the back of my hand. I can go down any road. I can, I don't even have to use a GPS when I'm there, right? Because I grew up there and that's my city or home. Here, I've gotten, I've grown to love it because as I said, at first I hated it. I just didn't not like it. I hated it. I was just tolerating it because of whatever reason, but I hated it. But now that I've gotten the opportunity to explore, you know, go around the city, make friends, experience new things, I love it. And if I do decide to go to another city like Houston or Dallas, um, I feel like I can grow to love it too. However, that's going to be hard because if you all know, if you all know, if you follow the story, I have moved around a lot in the past few years and that is just not healthy. It is just, it's just tragic that I even have to move again. Trust me, I hate it. However, um, God has blessed me with the opportunity to be able to afford this kind of, I guess, lifestyle to move around because moving is expensive. You end up losing your stuff. You end up being displaced. You end up being not settled. You have to start all over. It's expensive. It's stressful. And it's just, it's not, I wouldn't. I don't know how the military families do it. Um, yeah, it just, I wouldn't advise anyone to do that. I'm doing it right now because I have to, especially in this situation, I have to. So I'm gonna make the most of it. If I'm gonna, if I have to move, I'm gonna make the most of it. So I will be revealing where I'm gonna move to in one of my upcoming videos. Am I gonna stay in Atlanta? Am I gonna move back to Ohio? Am I going to Dallas, Miami, Florida? which is my in Florida, <laughs> New York, or what was my other one? Charlotte. I have, a, I have a lot of friends in Charlotte too. Charlotte is close to Atlanta and people from Charlotte come to Atlanta all the time. People from Atlanta go to Charlotte all the time. So it's almost like, it's almost, I feel like it's kind of like Minnesota and Iowa. When I used to, I used to live in Iowa, by the way, that was the first state I went to when I first came to the U.S. That was Iowa. Anyway, um, all right, so let me go ahead and work on this hair a little bit as we talk. So yeah, so Charlotte is kind of like that with, um, um, what's it called, Atlanta? So the choices are endless. 
endless, endless, endless. What I will say is whatever state I end up moving to, I'm gonna stay there for a while, for at least a year or two or even three. That is my plan. My plan is to stay for anywhere from one year to three years because I wanna say two to three years. One year, I can't, I just can't imagine myself moving again. It's just too much. However, again, I'm blessed with the opportunity to be able to do so and I'm so, so grateful. And I will say this, whatever move I make moving forward from, a lot of you know that I'm into real estate, right? I have a few properties, I have a few rental, I have one that I'm working on to either turn into a rental or just sell it, get the, the equity or profit and you know do whatever I want with it. So I am into real estate. So whatever move I make, whether it's moving out of state, staying here, going back to Ohio, whatever move I make is gonna be a money move. It's gonna be a business move. That means getting a property, staying in it for a while, fixing it up. Um, usually about one to two years is the time that you would need for the equity to go up. Stay in it for about a year, fix it up, and then move out. The thing with being free or single is that I can do that. I can get up and go. And the job that I do, I can do from anywhere, literally anywhere in the world. If I wanna to move to Dubai right now, I can move to Dubai, and I'm not even saying that just to say it. I can move to Dubai and just live there, but we're not there yet. I will visit, I've never been to Dubai. I will visit, but I'm not ready to move there. But any move I make right now is gonna be a business move. It's gonna be a money move. Any house I buy is gonna be an investment. It's gonna be an investment in my future. I'm gonna be building my portfolio. That's one of the reasons I don't want to rent. I've come across a, a lot of beautiful places that I could rent. Um, and I was asking you all about getting a high rise and stuff like that. That's all fine and beautiful, but I have a daughter, right? I have a daughter and I want to move in a space where she can play. I can have a little bit of a yard, but not too much um, to have to maintain but somewhere where she'll be able to play on a daily basis, she'll be able to go outside and ride her bike, so something like that, right? So my goal right now is either single family or townhomes. High rises are out of the question. So for those of you who wanted me to move into a high rise, I'm so sorry, but that is just not in the, the cards for me right now. Um, maybe when Nadia gets older and I become this billionaire, <laughs> I'll live in a high rise and she can tell her friends that her mom has a high rise and she can come visit. But right now I have to find a place that is suitable for her so she can play around and do, you know, do all the things so I can do my business too and, you know, go back to doing the things that I love, which is decorating, um, home improvement, real estate, and this hair reviewing and stuff like that. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do some baby hairs on this hair. So I have a hair tie here. I will put it up. The front part, at least, I have some Eco Styler gel and I have this um, edge control brush here. So I'm just gonna grab my scissors and then I'm gonna cut some baby hairs and um, yeah, just work it out that way. So anyway, as I was saying, high rises are out of the question for me right now, unfortunately. It's not really unfortunate. I don't think I would enjoy living in a high rise. And the second thing is, because I'm a businesswoman, it just doesn't, it just doesn't make great business sense for me unless I'm buying that unit. Unless I buy it, live in it for a little bit, like I said, and then rent it out or sell it back to get some equity. Um, yeah, it's just not, it's not the right decision for me right now. And also having a little girl that would want to play because a lot of those high rises, they have the secured parking lot, you park your car, go upstairs, and you have the hotel security guards. It's nice, and it has a lot of security. I love that part. However, it's not it's not ideal for a mother, right? It's not ideal for me right now. And it doesn't make a lot of business sense because I want to save my coins. I want to grow equity. I want to... Um, I've already experienced what it's like to have equity in a home. I've already experienced what it's like to, you know, have tenants and have renters and all of that good stuff. So I've already experienced that. And I don't think I can go back, maybe in the future, like I said, but I don't think I can go back to, to renting versus buying. 
Um, yeah, that's just me right now. So if I get something else, again, it's going to be a money move. It's either going to be me buying something and fixing it up, putting it back on the market, making a good profit from it, or buying it, fixing it up, and renting it out, and also making a good profit from it. So that is just where I stand with that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and pull these baby hairs out and make the baby hairs, and I'll be right back. All right, family, so this is the hair, y'all. I absolutely love it. You can actually wet this a little more, and as you can see, it fits beautifully with my skin tone. I was kind of worried that it might look weird, which is one of the reasons I don't do colors in the first place, but this looks really, really nice, y'all. I don't know if it's just me. I have a mirror here that I'm looking at, and it just looks really nice. I didn't do the most. Again, I always take my hair out at night, so the got to be gel or glue will do it. But if you're going on vacation or anything like that, then you might have to use the real bonding glue and all the fancy stuff. I don't do that because I do a lot of these hair reviews. I'm working on my natural hair, and I also always, always take my wigs off at night. So I just like to go the simple route. So if you're like me, if you're a mom like me, you're a businesswoman or a career woman, and you just want that beautiful but spicy wig, and you also don't want to do a lot, this video is for you, and this kind of hair install is for you. I do have a discount code down in the description box below. I'm gonna have all of the details, the links, the style, the color, everything you need to know about the hair, including a discount code to help your purchase. All right, family? Thank you all again so, so much for your love and support. I love you all, and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.